Good day guys and girls and thank you for watching ASFN Fishing. It's been a while since we've loaded footage but we, uh, we've got our things together and we'll be uploading videos on a weekly basis. This week I want to introduce one of our new ambassadors, Michael Paris, and you'll be seeing a lot more of him going forward. Thanks again guys, you the viewers, uh, for watching our channel. Please remember to subscribe, like the videos, it really helps us on the algorithms. Hit that bell notification button if you want to be notified every time we upload a video. But let's go join Michael. Now Michael is no stranger to ASFN and was very involved behind the scenes back in the day in Cape Town. He has now been in Jeffrey's Bay for almost two years and producing some really fantastic catches on a regular basis. We are looking forward to see what Michael has to share. Now, Caballero's Beach on Jeffrey's Bay is just one of those beaches that you never know what's going to happen today. And when you put in the time, there's always some really good surprise catches. has gone and we passed it here in no time it's halfway down the beach but there's no one else fishing so i don't need to follow the fish don't need to worry i'm just going to stand here and wait for him to turn and when he turns i'm going to grab all that line back as he comes this way if he turns <laughs> he should <laughs> shallow and then it goes deep and what the diamonds do is they just hug that and then it's quite difficult to get them over. Like if you got the right tackle you can kind of just pull in with a bit of a wave but I'm on the lighter stuff today so I'd rather just take my time and enjoy. There's also a big patch of weed in front here so I don't want my line to go through the weed and risk losing the fish. I'm just gonna take my time and oh, enjoy it. Diamond skates or butterfly rays is believed to be one of our endemic species on the east coast of South Africa and can reach a weight in excess of 100 kilograms. And when conditions line up perfectly, they can come in numbers and really put fun in your fishing day. When moving a diamond skate, make sure your hands in the mouth and not in the spiracles which is before the mouth. This could be fatal to a diamond. The spiracles is the water intake in the bottom that blows through the gills and out on top. Never stick your fingers in those top holes either.
this was believed to be a black skate. One of those really worthy opponents welcomed by most competitive anglers. But these tales don't always turn out as we want them to. Incredible. It wasn't long and Michael was in on another fish. Let's call it a consolation on the previous one. Yes, I think it took off there. <laughs> it's a small shot. Smooth hounds are known for the fierce fight they put up. They don't have sharp teeth, but it's more like sandpaper. Really lovely opponents that can grow up to 30 kilos and sometimes in excess. The hook I'm using is the 10 Kobu XT. Very, very nice. So great hook for diamonds. Put so many diamonds on it now. I'm very chuffed. We landed a lot of bronzes on it as well. Unfortunately, with the black ray, with the amount of pressure I put, it was probably the, just too much. But looking forward to trying a bigger size on those black rays soon. One six seven. One six seven point five. No worries. If you look here, this diamond just coughed up a piece of sand shark. Yeah. How oh, incredible.
Look, yeah. You can see that hook. Hooks at the nicely. Just like that. It's a beauty. Let's get it back. Lovely dive. Very nice. Super fun fight. Yeah, very, very enjoyable morning. Just a quick session before work today. Uh, pretty windy. Conditions were not as good as we expected, but it was still super fun. We got four, four bites and six throws, so really not too bad. Wish I could stay in fish longer because it just kind of turned on out the end. Two nice diamonds, a smooth round, and then unfortunately lost that black ray. Just tackle was a bit too small for him. It was a pretty big one. Just a bit frustrating because I actually took off my black ray trace <laughs> to make a diamond. Diamond made for a diamond race, so yeah, it's how it goes there, but it's fine, we'll be back for the next time. Super enjoyable session, and we'll see you guys again.